All right, so a little recap. Uh, This location right down the street, well, obviously it didn't make $46 or so. It made about half that, right? Um, What does that mean, you know, on that performance right there? Uh, Well, unfortunately... um, well, I don't know. It's kind of hard to, to put into perspective. But, um, you know, I just feel like... Um, well, I mean, if I came here in January and now we are at the very beginning of May, um, now we are talking about one to two months to February, February to March, March to April, April to May, boom, we're at four months, right? Um, I had to give out about four and a half dollars, which brought us down to about 18, let's just say. Uh, 18 divided by four, we are talking about five, 10, 15, 20, less than five dollars a month. Uh, But on sales, at 22, we're talking 550. So technically, it's not an F. It would be a D. The bottom, it's a D minus, bottom of the D range. Um, one right deciding factor is the starburst not dispensing properly. So me switching from starburst to specialty gumballs will it make a difference? Also, getting out of the slow season into the busier season, will it make a difference? Um, Also, would I want to get a different type of candy machine here, right? I love the four chambers. The four chambers will allow for a proper dispense on the Starburst, right? Um, So we we, we gotta focus more on the candy and the gumballs. Every location, I mean, outside of like bars, they need gumballs. And they need they need Starburst. Um, two things: one, I definitely am going to take a canister of Starburst and run them through my machine, and we're going to show how much they make, how much they cost, and after say that twenty percent vig, if they are truly profitable as much as we hope they are. Um, but even though we can read the numbers on how much supposedly you get in the container and how much it costs and how much per serving and we could run the math all day on numbers i want to see it i want to see it in action so that's definitely a fun video i think we're all going to be looking forward to and i can run that game on all the candy you know forget the numbers on the back let's just see what they really come down to in physical actuality right i'm just going to pump through a machine full of quarters we're going to see all the dispense. I'm going to throw one container in, go through them all. And once they're all through, we'll cut up how much money we have. And then we'll run some numbers. I'm excited to do so. Just to officialize everything. Number two, um, and this is kind of a big number two that I'm excited about. And I'm going to continue to talk about because we all know the only thing I really care about in life right now is um, never going back into that birdcage, you know, and I just want to not trade it for another birdcage. I want to trade it for no birdcage. I don't mind doing some work. It's just, I just want it to be on my terms. My terms would be having 200 candy machines. The reason why I come up with numbers like that, I want 100 machines, I want 200 machines. And the reason why I talk like that is because I believe in numbers. Numbers don't lie. People do, guys, girls lie. Numbers do not lie, right? Let's break, I want to break down a very interesting fun fact real quick. Specialty gumballs, I kill. I literally am going to change the name of this uh, YouTube channel to... Uh, how did I want to phrase it? I should have just already done it so I wouldn't have forgotten. But it's going to be um, something like retire from gumballs retire from gumballs yeah i want to retire from gumballs i want to retire the w2 game and i believe that i can if i can just get enough locations that have 
that have uh, gumballs in them, right? Um, I, I was, right, sitting in the sauna, steam room, and I'm breaking down some numbers last night, and it's actually quite intriguing, okay? Uh, real quick, you get about 850, not about, you get 850 gumballs in a box. A specialty gumball costs around $45, give or take. Plus, you're giving 20% VIG on average, okay? 20% on 25 cents is 5 cents. If you do the 850 gumballs divided by about $45, um, what does it come out? Five, six cents or so, something like that. And so all said and done, I want to say you're making about 13 cents. Don't quote me on that. The numbers that I was actually getting at was... If you sold a box of gumballs, 850 gumballs, you're going to make $212. You probably have seen it if you're in the game on a generic box at Sam's. It'll say on the box, 850 gumballs, 212 in sales, 212.50, right? Because that's the math. If you sell 850 gumballs at $25, you're going to make $212. And in a box, a generic box, sells for like $25 so the margins are huge um it's not worth it though do not buy generic gumballs no one wants them they're not going to sell they're not going to sell the way that you want them to sell the way I want them to sell but if you just go up to about $45 $50 and get a box of specialty gumballs now you're in motherfucking business okay because the action is going to get it you have to make sure that you put advertisement on there. You have to have that label sticker that says, screams, this is not a generic gumball. This is a specialty gumball. That is what is going to sell. They will know for the most part, looking at the gumballs, that they're not generic. But when you have the label, that powerful, powerful label that says, hey, this is a blow pop gumball. This is a lightning bolt sour gumball. It's going to get you the sales. And so... You take that 212 that you make off selling 850 and you minus the VIG, the 20%, and you also minus the 45 that it costs you for the box, which is about 90 bucks off the 212. For easy numbers, let's just say 210. Um, 90 off of that, you're talking about 120. Um, is that right? We're, we're talking about, depends how much you get the gumballs for. 45 plus 45, let's just say, okay, fine, 90. Okay, fine. And we'll say we're making 120 at the end of the day. Pure profit. Out the door. 120. Forget gas. Okay? Now, you ask, okay, well, you got to sell 850 gumballs. It's a lot of gumballs, Corey. How, how, the hell, how long is it going to take me to sell 850 gumballs? Well, I don't know. I can't answer that question for you because I don't know how many candy machines you have. Right? And I don't, or, you know, gumball machines. Right? And so I can't tell you that. And also, I don't know how many gumballs they're selling each day. But if you had one machine that was uh, selling one gumball a day, well, you got about 360, what, five days in a year. 350, 350, 350, right? You're talking about three, six, nine hundred days. Well, it would be one gumball per day. You got 850, it'd take you 850 days to sell 850 gumballs if you're selling one a day obviously that dries everyone up because that's not fun to think about um 850 days to make at the end of it 120 bucks because <laughs> now we're talking 850 days three years 350 350 350 uh you're talking about 1050 over you're talking about 1100 days that's almost three years yeah it's not gonna happen right but Let's, let's increase it a little bit. And let's say you have 10 machines, okay? Well, now if you have 10 machines, it's not going to take you 800, uh, for easy numbers, let's just say 850 days. No, we can divide that by 10 because now we have 10 machines, each doing one a day for you. And now it's going to take a zero off, which is a huge zero from 850 days down to 85 days. Look at that. We just dropped down to 85 days by having 10 machines. So what does that mean if we got to the next level at 100 machines? Ooh, 100 machines. Well, we can take off a zero, okay? Taking off a zero off of 85 becomes 8.5. Now we're selling a case of gumballs with 100 machines in 8.5 days. 
it's starting to get sweeter because in 8.5 days, you just made 120 bucks. I'm still not that impressed, Corey. Okay, well, let me try to dazzle. Let me try to jazz hand you up, right? Well, what if you had 200 machines? Okay, well, it's twice as much. And now we can take that 8.5 divided by two and turn it into four and a quarter. So now you're making $120 pure profit, roughly minus the gas, okay? And some time um, to go collect all that money. But remember, you don't have to go every, every four days, right? But theoretically, now every four days, four and a quarter, you're making $120 if you had 200 machines with specialty gumballs on, the, on just the specialty gumballs, right? At one pull a day. That is key. One pull a day, right? One pull a day, 200 machines, every four and a half days, you're making 120 out the door, okay? Four and a half days, how many four and a half days come in a month? Four and a half times two is nine. Nine, 18, 27, that's six up to 27. Well, four and a half days is just what, 3150? We can almost stretch one more to seven. So now we have seven rounds of this in a month. That's 120, we'll shave the, the, the last off to, that's 700 and um, that's 120 times seven. What does that come out to be? Well, seven times the remainder 20 is 140. And then you have also have the 100 on each of the sevens, which is 700. So it's $820, right? So now all of a sudden at 200 machines, one pull a day, you're profiting $820 in a month off gumballs. $820 off one pull, one pull a day, right? Here's the machine, I'm in the machine, I get one gumball, right? You have the entire day that that place is open to sell that one gumball for this to work. Now what happens if you sell two gumballs at that location? Two gumballs, that day, every day, you sell two gumballs at each of these locations. 200 machines, you sell two gumballs each. Well, guess what, you just made twice as much. You're not making 820 in pure profit in a day. You are making twice that, 1640 on two pulls of gumballs. Forget the rest of the candy that's making you money. I'm just focused on the gumballs, okay? We're, we're not even adding in if they buy some Reese's Pieces or someone else buys some peanut M&Ms or if someone buys whatever else, Starburst, whatever the case may be. I'm focused just on gumballs. You sell two, you're making 1640. You sell three, all right, you're adding another 820 on top of the 16, which is 2460. Now you're making 2460, right? 2460, and let's just go one more. You sell four gumballs a day. Add another 820, stack it on top, right? And now you're at 3280. 3280, 3280 in a month right? Easier said than done. But still, if you think about it, if you got 200 mach candy machines out there, at least gumball machines, or at least contained a gumball, right? 200 locations that had a specialty gumball in there. Okay. And you got four pulls on that gumball in a day, you are making profiting, right? What I say 3280. 3280, 3280. I'm pretty sure I go work my ass off s multiple times a week to make, what are they giving me at the end of the day? At the end of the day, I'm making no more than 1500 out the door. I'm making somewhere between a thousand and 1500 a week, which is somewhere between four and 6,000, okay? Keep in mind, we're just talking about the gumballs. We're not even talking about the two other chambers, which are still making you money throughout each of the polls, right? We can break those down and we can add them on top and we can say, okay, this machine gets four hits on the gumballs, two hit on the peanut M&Ms, two hit on the Starburst, right? Whatever the average, whatever the case may be. But let's just focus on the gumballs. Four gumballs a day, 200 machines, you are making 3260 out the door, okay? Minus a, um, some time and gas. And remember, you don't have to collect 
every day, every week. You don't even have to collect every month. You could set it up so that you have enough gumballs in there so that you could probably get away with collecting every two months, right? Well, now if you have 200 machines and you're checking on them every two months, you know, you got, uh, you could divide, what's the mathematical equation on that, right? 200 machines, uh, 200 machines, you're checking every two months, right? That's six times a year. Uh, so I think it'd be like six, 200 divided by six, six divided by 200, something like that, right? Which would be 20, 10 for 60, 120, 180, half over, which would be about 35 days that it would take you in a year, maybe. You'd be spending 35 days a year, give or take, obviously, um, depending on how you have it set up to collect to make that money, right? Now, the real question is, are these locations going to get four hits on your gumball in a day? right? Every day, every location. I think it's doable. I think it's for sure it's doable. I'm definitely not coming up with something that's like radical. That's completely like unobtainable. You know, it's four poles a day on a gumball. And if a, if a location, whatever it may be, a pizza place, a barbershop, whatever, if they're open from 10 to six, you know, nine to five, right? 11 to 7. I mean, it gives you eight an eight-hour window to sell four. That means every, what, two hours you sell one gumball? Can you sell a gumball every two hours at a location that you have it set up? I like to think it's possible, you know? And the nice thing is, it's like, well, I don't even have to hit four, you know what I mean, for this to be quite lucrative, you know? And we're not even factoring in all the other candy that's selling. But if you just got 200 locations... Four poles a day, because I mean, dude, honestly, at the at, at the end of it, could I survive off of thirty two hundred dollars a month? Yes, yes, I could. <laughs> I could do that. I could quit my day job if I had two hundred gumball machines, locations selling four gumballs a day. I could retire. That's crazy. Is it possible to retire off of gumballs? I don't think anyone's done it yet because I'd like to be the first or at least, you know, join the team of the Gumball Freedom Fighters. Anyways, we'll talk more about this one on the next episode.